Twilight, whatever. Hey, oh. all right. Oh. Welcome, welcome everyone. This is a, uh, this is coming in hot. This is live coming and hot, uh, finished. We just wrapped up a top, another, our fourth tapas on tap beer dinner here. And uh, I just threw Chris right straight to the wolves of just saying, we're going to go live. Yes, we to, are. To our millions. And here There's we are. Millions, millions out millions. there? I think millions. That's all? Well, right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you know, we're modest, a modest market. Okay. Okay. Um, I get it. So we, we just wrapped up uh, doing, doing a, a beer dinner. Thank you so much. Peace. We just are every, the last hardworking folks are finally leaving. So it's just us bums now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so what we do for this? Uh, let's let's have let's have something. So part of it is a little sip. Oh. So we get to so a little cheers. Cheers to all of you who are checking us out. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at Chuck. Chuck Abrams was here at the dinner. He's now watching us. Wow. He's I can't, already... can't get enough of me, huh, Chuck? <laughs> right. I don't blame you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who may be tuning in, being like, "Who's this guy?" and maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't uh, tune in or know what we have going on. Mm, that's interesting. This is uh, Chef Chef Chris Ray, a five course catering. And uh, yes. if you've been lucky enough to come here and enjoy some of his food, or perhaps somewhere else in the community, you know what he's all about. One of the best, uh, one of the best chefs just in our whole region. Um, and when it comes to doing wild game, it's pretty pretty untouchable. So, and that's what we did tonight was yeah. wild game and I like to be referred to as the green hornet of wild game. <laughs> That's it. That he's, he has that embroidered onto a denim jacket. <laughs> yes. Actually. If not, you might I might that might tomorrow. be your, that might be your birthday <laughs> present. Um, so I, I just grabbed a couple of beers to highlight. So part of what I do every Wednesday is the tap talk and highlighting some new beers, talking a little bit about what's fun and what we're enjoying. And um, and, and so this was one beer we featured tonight. This is the uh, Great Lakes Edmund Fitzgerald Porter. Uh, just a classic porter. How do, what do you think of dark beers? Are you a dark beer guy? I'm not a big dark beer not guy. Not as much. As you know, my right. wife is, but yes. this, this, this uh, has she's a, enjoying it. She, Yes, she's enjoying some. I think it has a complexity of about three levels of flavor. And do you remember which one we paired this with tonight? I think the number four. The, ven the venison. Oh, which would go perfect. So tell us a little bit about that venison dish tonight. Venison, that was local from this area. Venison, we uh, we uh, allocated locally, and uh, it was it was shank and a leg, and we uh, definitely put it under pressure for a long time, sous vide style, and then we put fire on it, and then once we pulled it right off the bone clean, we we sliced it thin, and therefore we could simmer it in. A nice sauce. We served it over grilled caramelized onions with cherries, which that was, that was created a dynamic a base. And around it, we had some foraged mushrooms from the area. Uh, we had blue oyster mushrooms and oyster mushrooms, and I think a little bit of chicken in the woods in there. So they were garnished. A melange. A melange. A melange. A melange. And you have to say it like that. You have to speak with your hands. A melange. If you can say it through your nose, you're better <laughs> better off, but I don't know. So that dish was just incredible. And so the pairing with this this dark kind of roasty, chocolatey yes. beer kind Perfect. of matched up with a lot. Um, this is the, the joy that I take from being able to um, put together the, the side of uh, beer part of my brain and the food part of my brain with 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 you is just That's like right. this is what we do it for um, yeah. so so yes that was a, a, a super delicious course there and you know this is a dark beer for I, I often say for people who might not be into dark beer as much right. it's right. kind of helps cross over a little bit because um, it's not over the top this had to go great with the cherries and the onions that, that was simmered. the cherries when I saw that you had put that yeah. in there Bingo. Like, because you get the that just that little hit of sweet, yeah. and then the caramelized yes. onion. Yes. Like, ah, it just worked really yeah. nicely. So, so this sweet. was this was one of the pairings. So you kind of get to. Ooh, let me see. What, we got any fun comments? Well, you got up kind of. Oh, it's Chuck and, and Tony. We got another another one of the couples that was right here. <laughs> Tony. And let's see. What was their review? Fantastic. Ah. Look at. That's it, Tony. We're Fantastic. Not, That's worthy. all. We're not Come worthy. Come on, man. Yeah, we aren't worthy. We're just uh, having fun. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's really right, all about. Right, right. I told people like tonight, I was like, well, I hope you're having fun because yeah, I'm having, yeah, I'm probably right. having more fun than Shoot. you. Because uh, we get to snack along, along the well, way. Well, we get to cook things we don't always cook every day, and it's right. just fun. And, you know, when we no first doubt. started this, I didn't have, I will say, I, you razzed me about it, of being like, we talked about this for years before, the, ever since I opened the shop, said, oh, we should get together and do beer dinner, yeah. do a beer pairing. Yeah. And it just was one of those things that just, yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. Well, and then we just never put it on the schedule. It just right. didn't, it didn't get put on the books. And, and then, then I we, told him I was going to retire next month. <laughs> and finally, he decides that he wants to put me to work. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Well, we finally got it together is what counts. And it's just been, it's just yeah. been um, an absolute blast and, and so much fun to, like, to be able to lean on your expertise with the food. And like, in my opinion, I just let you drive the show. Like you're picking the foods, you're picking the flavors. I mean, we, we talk about it and kind of yeah. talk about what kind of might make sense with the food and the beer, but yeah. ultimately I'm following your lead and just trying to find things that I think will match up with the flavors you're creating. And, and yeah. the food speaks for itself. It's you, are, just, you are modest. Well, it's ultimately. Uh, yeah, but you're you, making this stuff, you know? Like, I, know I, I, so, connect, I connect the dots, but I'm so, not making it. So you know, you're actually if, making it. Tony or any of y'all out there, like, send a message that says, well, why don't Ian come help Chef Ray prep for two days? I don't know if he wants Prep the food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get to work, Ian. You right, know? Right. Quit drinking all that beer. I think that would be the problem. I'd be a sous chef and be like, how are those carrots coming along back Just there? And I'd be like, half pint in. <laughs> but, uh, no, it is key because when... Uh, you know, everyone believes in wine dinners and all that, but I'm a big believer on the beer dinner. And when you hit that beer with the food, it sets off a whole complexity of flavors that people kind of don't even know what's going on on their palate. Right. But they Bamboozle. know it's something good. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, Ashley's saying I can prep the food at home. Huh? That's, see how that That's works? Ashley? Yeah. <laughs> God dang it. You're on to me, Ashley. <laughs> All right, yeah. so this was another beer from the tasting tonight, and this was one that several people say, if I wasn't trying it here at the tasting night, I, it would not have been a beer I would have tried otherwise. Um, Which one is this? Well, let's see if you can guess. What? Oh. <laughs> see, you got, he's got he's got help. He's got assistance off camera here. <laughs> the support. Obviously, group. if you've met me, you know I need help. That's it. <laughs> so. Oh, we've got yeah. <laughs> Chuck says, I'm just riding your coattails. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I doubt that, Chuck. Yeah. So this beer was one that, that we, yeah, we paired up tonight. This one went with the wild boar. So the wild boar with the, with the, the spice and, and the hot and yeah. sour sauce, which Ginger. on its own, yeah. Yes. And this was an interesting one where, like, the beer brings the spice to the dish. Usually it's like the beer is complementing the right. spice, but this one... This is from Toppling Goliath from Decora, and there I was. I mentioned during the tasting that they're well known for their hazy IPAs, their big stouts. This beer is not necessarily what most people would think that they would make. It's a mm. lager with cranberry, apple, and cinnamon. Yes. So perfect fall flavors. Perfect. And I saw it on the menu. You know, when yeah. you're coming up pairing with the menu, I go, wild oh, this boar. has to go somewhere in here. Mm. So we paired it with a wild boar meatball, and then that had a ginger kimchi. Yep, meatball, nice. Hand padded meatball. We we caress it a little bit, but don't get weird. And uh, then a hot and sour broth, and uh, oh yeah, the quail and, egg. And the quail egg, sunny side up, oh, right yeah. on top of With it. With that rich yolk in there. Yeah. That and was... this, he didn't let me taste. Right. He yeah, kind of cuts you know me off at times. I'm so stingy you know? about the beer. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, no quail egg for you, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Um, this is perfect. It was a very interesting one because it's a uh, yeah. So it's a beer that Great several pick. people, you know, mentioned that like outside of this context, like cranberry, apple, cinnamon. It's like one of those things that I think sometimes people like their beer to be beer. Yeah. Which I say it's like a, a bit of an old school thing of people just want their beer to taste like you know, kind of like a golden lager or a malty amber yeah. or something. They don't want a bunch of different flavors right. in it. And I can I can respect and understand where they're yeah. coming from. But I also like when people are willing to push Those are themselves. Pretty nice shoes, dude. You're a sporty cat. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, man. I aspire to be. Ian. Oh yeah, yeah. God yeah. dang it! In my retirement, I might 
you know, becoming it. Who knows? Oh, gosh. I'm just trying to read. Yeah, no, I could see that. So this was kind of a fun one. And Perfect. again, it's like ah, maybe good. a little leaning early on the seasonal trend with the cinnamon, but it's Stone Lake. I said cranberries are always in season here. Right. So this one worked really well. It was kind of a fun, uh, right. a fun flavor experience to add Very in. Very good. All right, and then this last one that I picked is fun because let me see if let me, let's test your taste bud, see if this seems familiar to you. <laughs> is it my number seven? No. No. Oh shoot! What is it? It's no fair. That's I see. I put him on the spot. I I'm know. Dealing, I I'm dealing with the expert over here. <laughs> me, I consider myself an expert. Just said kicking it back on you know, right right here we go this was this is the working beer this is the number 11 the ipa yeah. that you were having at the start yeah and right right oh at i mean start yeah yeah i at mean like end, oh, at the end I, sure uh, yeah okay people know <laughs> people people are aware it's beer, a beer dinner where right. it's a working function absolutely and part of this is ties into like the working <laughs> element of it yeah we had these crazy interesting tasty beers but then you need the working beers, yeah. the ones that, that get you through where you go, I just need something. I need something to drink. This is, this is your beer a couple of times. Like, hey. Do I yeah. say that ever? It's more of like <laughs> snap the fan. Do hey, I, hey, kid. Do I? I said, Ian, do you forget who I am? Yeah, right. Come on, man. <laughs> um, but oh. this one is a nice, and a couple of people drank this during the dinner as like their side beer. Okay. Be, they were drinking as a, I so this one's that. from Third Space from Milwaukee. Yeah. It's a, it's How called. How do you read that? Nice. Day. You got to lean real in here. Look, let's I, get. I'd have to get all up in <laughs> Yeah, they don't want me to. Tony <laughs> wants to know where he can get some more of that pork dish. Pork? Maybe the mangalista. Did we serve pork tonight, Tony? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure, Tony? Mangalista. How are you feeling out, out there, Tony? Really? <laughs> We could, we, Tony, we can fix you up anytime you want. You know that. But you refuse to pick up the phone. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Tony's let's, little flash that, let's flash that number like yeah, we're in a yeah. QVC pop, app. Pop, pop. Hit yeah, that number baby. down here. There's only 80 units Get it left. now, Tony. If you call now, right. you got a deal, 25% off. But wait, there's more. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Call in the next 10 minutes. Yeah, that's right. Chef Ray will come to your house right now. Right now. Like right now. Wake up the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at that. Um, but yeah, so this, in, in the midst of doing a lot of these things, and you can, you know, like you can relate. I can only pseudo relate to the kitchen life where beer often in that circumstance is more functional, right? Yeah. Like it's something you need. You're like, I need something. Yeah. To drink right now. Yeah, yeah. Like it, you're not necessarily sitting there and quaffing it and going it's, over the nuances of what's in it or not. It's it, like I'm it, working. I need to. A good beer is uh, quenching your thirst. Right. Ultimately, right? that's at the end of the day. It has yeah. to kind of yeah. check that box. So, yes. So, yeah. Hot environment, greasy environment, hardworking guys out there. <laughs> Chuck says it needed ketchup. <laughs> Hey, Chuck, can I tell you where to put that Heinz 57? So, you know, use your imagination. Go get the bottle and ask your wife to put it there, okay? Oh, gosh. Done. And, uh, yeah, and Tony, Tony says we can come on over. So, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Just post because your address. Because Tony doesn't get up at 5 a.m. Just post your address in the comments. We'll, we'll, we'll arrive with enforcements. Reinforcements. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, you oh, got gosh. a following dude. yeah well this is fun you know yeah. we get these the that's the fun bit with the live is it it kind of goes where it goes but you, you get a little fun interaction so yeah, wow um but yeah so this this was a nice little yeah, round out at the end and and that's also uh you guys have a, a similar thing the shifty you guys it's a shifty a thing that you're familiar with in the restaurant industry end of your shift oh shift the shift beer. yep 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 when you finish an event or when you finish a shift, when you yeah. get you get out of the moment and then you go, <sighs> yeah, having a beer. Refreshing. I'm sitting down, I'm having a beer before you clean Sit or do all that stuff. Or, or ideally you clean first because then you got it already done. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes that doesn't happen. I, <laughs> you just have the beer first. Right. So if I go ahead and have a beer with the crew, 
I can assure them that they will be doing the cleaning and not me. <laughs> I just want to sit you boys down and let you know how it's going to work. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is uh, this has been a fun little um, ad lib on the uh, Wednesday night tap talk. Uh, we've it's just been doing these dinners and doing this this experience has like helped for me at least personally on the beer side of things just kind of reignite the the excitement and the passion I have like for for what beer can be um, because it's great to have it here in the bar and you enjoy sitting around you know having a beer it's, it's fun in a social context and and appreciating it but when we get a chance to like pair it up with some really excellent food yeah. it takes it to this whole other place yeah. um, and it's and so if you if any of you out there have not had a chance to get <laughs> Tony posted his address. Oh, no. what? <laughs> You're going to be inundated, Tony. There's going to be hundreds, millions. We, we millions. may not be the first to arrive, right. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but to be able to uh, to have like you as a resource to you know, even if it was good, if it was just good food that might need ketchup, that would still be pretty fun. But we're talking about like this is next level, really interesting gourmet quality food. If you have not had anything from Five Course Catering, look at, look at that right there. Of course, yeah. baby. If you've got a private event, you want to do a dinner in your home, or you're having family, you're doing a Amen. gathering, getting married, whatever the situation may yes. be, birthday party. I don't know. Yeah. You want to just yeah. have an excuse to have good food on a Tuesday? Call, call, call them up. Yeah, and I'm not flashing, flashing them, but, but yeah. The next put, 10 callers, put, 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 yeah. we'll get one free entree, right? <laughs> next 10 callers, get a little bit of that wild boar we have. Like, hey, oh, uh, yeah. you got to catch it yourself, though, right? That's <laughs> yeah. hand-harvested yeah. wild boar. So we, we enjoy it. Anytime we can stretch our legs with the food and, and cooking and, uh, and challenge ourselves right. to, to get better, as, as these young guys, these young kids, I, they challenge me, and I appreciate the challenge. So we get to it, and uh, we're pretty, we, we do a pretty good job at it. So we, we really appreciate just cooking for it, you and Ian and everybody here tonight. Absolutely. It's just a great time. So. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Well, yeah. thanks for joining Thank us and you. just kind of hopping right on. We had to boot people. Yeah. I said, if you don't leave in the next two minutes, you're going to be live on camera and then watch people scurry like cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> all the good, all the good looking people left. <laughs> it's, yeah. just, it's just, this Whoa. is what you get. Um, yeah, so there you go. If you ever want to clear out an area, just tell everyone they're about right. to be live on camera. Right. People will get right out. Um, or the people you don't want to get out will stay and they'll get in the frame. Right. Um, so, right. <laughs> awesome. Well, Take cheers. Thanks again uh, to, to Chef Ray and Karen and the whole crew that came and made such an amazing meal for us tonight. And thank you all for joining along for our fun circus here and have a have a nice wednesday and we'll see you again next week thanks a lot